We are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Courtney and Jay in Christian marriage. Courtney and Jay come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. And we have this, I think, false idea of love in our culture, summed up by a particular phrase, love at first sight. Love at first sight implies that love is an emotion that strikes you one time, whereas, in fact, love is a choice that one makes over and over and over again. If you choose to love each other now, you'll need to choose to do so tomorrow and in a week and in a decade and in 50 years. Where do you get a kind of love? Where it's not about how you feel, but what you choose to do. And you choose to make the decision over and over again, particularly when it stings or hurts or costs. Where does it come from? Here, I'm going to let you in a little secret. You asked for it over and over and over again, every morning, every evening. God will give you the the perseverance to, to choose to love when it's difficult. And God will show you what it means to give your life for the other. And all that encounter, you'll be blessed thereby. And all it will take for you to have that kind of marriage is to ask for it. And here's my promise. Rather than worrying about love at first sight, God will give you love at last sight. And that's my prayer and the promise for the two of you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Courtney, will you have Jay to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And if so, please respond. I will. Jay, will you have Courtney to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. And if so, please respond, I will. I will. Courtney and Jay, may God the eternal keep you in love with each other so the peace of Christ may abide in your home and go to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. It is my great honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Forrester.
you.